Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Today I want us to really focus on the term hallucination and why it's necessary to rethink the way we think of that term in relation to AI. It's now time to really coin a different term. Imagine you're talking to an AI system and you ask it a simple question. To your surprise, it confidently delivers an answer that you quickly realize is not so. The information is completely false. The reality is that many people call this phenomenon, of course, hallucination. But here's the catch. AI cannot hallucinate like we do. It's not seeing things that aren't there, nor is it misrepresenting the reality in the way humans do when they experience hallucination. So saying AI is doing that and making it sound like human being is not okay for me. And I want to say that today, I want to challenge that term. I want us to explore why we should really consider how we suggest what AI is doing in a more fashionable way that people understand. And this is what I want to articulate today. How we describe the moment of error that AI goes down the road, we should call them out instead. And you know what the danger is? When we say hallucination, we don't touch on the relevant aspects that need to be touched on. For example, bias. For example, exclusion. For example, marginalized people. By categorizing everything in one, we kind of water down the things that need to be addressed, right? The word hallucination suggests that AI models like the one we use mainly, ChatGPT, and other image generating tools, have a form of consciousness. They don't. But the truth is, AI isn't aware, it doesn't perceive, and it certainly doesn't experience the reality like we do. When it creates false information, it is false based on data sets. And that's the reality that we must understand. Because it's not seeing anything. So how can it hallucinate? We have to really say what it is, right? I can't use the word lying because I will be personifying that to someone that's human. And AI, again, is not human. The bias lies in the data sets, and we have to realize that. When data sets are coded in a wrongful manner and are coded without diversity and inclusion concepts and ethics, that's what we get. Just imagine asking an AI system for capital of the world, right? No, that place doesn't exist. And of course, it answers confidently regarding that location. And it gives you a location based on a fairy tale or a novel that it had scraped from the internet. Here's the thing. It's not hallucination. It's doing its best to generate the answer based on the data that has been given. And that's the reality. It's fabricating information, which is dangerous. You know, when you go to the court and you fabricate information, that's dangerous because the fabrication of data or information can be misleading. And let us break it down in real terms. What happens when you fabricate? The issue is that there are so many things that are possible. So instead of calling it hallucination, let us call it fabrication or fabricating, making up something that doesn't even have the right data. Just like when a person doesn't know the answer to a question, the person might guess. But, of course, they might have doubts. AI is somewhat different because it gives you the answer with such confidence. Sometimes it gives you the right answer and the wrong answer, but with the same level of confidence, which is dangerous. And if you have that, you don't know when to trust it. So there are some implications that we have to understand because we have to understand that the term of hallucination is deeper. Take another example when you're using AI. To write a history paper, you ask about the President of the United States, it gives you an answer. And then you ask another question and it gives you another answer that's incorrect. The reality is that, you know what? AI fabricates information. I would say lying, but I can't lie because it's not human, but it's generating an error, an error that could have, of course, implication for the person writing that assignment. 
But there's a real world impact on AI fabrication that we must understand as we go deeper into it. And I'm wondering if we have taken the time to explore some of these things in our thoughts. But we must, because AI is here to stay, and the longer it's here, you're going to realize that it's always going to fabricate. You can't get rid of that. That's going to be an element that's dominant. Hence, the need for human oversight. You might ask, why am I doing this? Why does this matter? Well, what is in a name? By calling it hallucination, it can lead us to have misconception about what AI is capable of doing and how it functions. In the field like healthcare where it's important to have precise information, these forms of fabrication can be serious. It can have serious consequences. So we have to call it out. Imagine an AI system that disagrees with a medical condition. If it hallucinates a diagnosis, no matter how confident the response sounds, it could be detrimental. This could lead to life-changing events or practically death, devastating outcomes. You know, by saying it hallucinates, you're kind of shifting the blame on the system rather than the user. And I think we need to understand that those who use AI, they have a responsibility to ensure that the data they get or whatever is done from AI has secondary oversight. Referring to these errors as false inferences or synthetic errors gives us a clearer picture of what the reality is. It helps us to design better systems that safeguard our humanity and prevent certain things from happening. I want to say that reframing this discussion is important. Words have power, and I've realized that we have allowed certain people to coin certain words to not give us the impression of the reality of the word or the term. But the reality is that it's not hallucination. It's fabrication. And if you fabricate something that is not true, we can have problems. So when you say that someone uses AI and it hallucinates and produces racist content and so forth, we need to make that shift. So in other words, I want to say we have to change the way we describe AI mistakes. We have to create accountability and transparency. If we call it a data mismatch instead of hallucination, we acknowledge that the system is trying to connect the dots. Sometimes that happens, but it doesn't align. If it is not a cognitive lapse, but a technical issue, we need to fix it, and that's important. It's not hallucinating on its own, but because of the data sets that have been put in, that's why it fabricates data, and that's a reality. We must not allow individuals to shape our language discourse to cover their liability. And by saying it's hallucination, which I've never used a term that I can recall in that fashion, I've always say fabrication because I've never been satisfied with the word hallucination. For example, let us look at a self-driving car. If the AI responsible for navigating the road mistakenly identifies a shadow in the road as an obstacle, it's not hallucinating. It's making a misconception based on faulty data sets that are in place. The distinction helps to understand the situation and also helps engineers to better identify and correct errors in the database system or AI system. I want to say that looking forward, we have to understand the future of AI and the language that is used. The way we talk about AI mistakes should evolve just like technology itself. Using terms like fabrication, false inference, and data distortion on the grounds in our conversation, of course, is a reflection of the reality of what the system is doing. And most importantly, we need to know exactly what they are doing. So I want to say that after critical reflection, I'm not going to ever use the word hallucination because AI is not human. So as AI continues to shape industries and influence our daily lives, let us be mindful of the language that we use. A term like hallucination might sound wonderful, but it creates distraction in addressing the real issues. For example, the gap in the data, the limitation in the training of the data set, biased data sets. And of course, if we understand that it's fabricating based on these things, 
everyone would have a better understanding of AI. Let me close by saying AI doesn't understand the world we do, it just knows enough to help us. And when it makes mistakes, I'm sure you understand that these mistakes can be problematic because it's not hallucinating, it's fabricating. Overall, understanding how something can go wrong with AI based on what happens at the back end is important. And that's the first step we need to do if we are to get AI right in some format and reduce these fabrication that it goes on with, we need to understand the system. So just remember, AI can't hallucinate from my perspective, it just fabricates. It's not human. And for some early days when that discourse started with that term, I rejected it and I still reject it to this day. Thanks. I look forward to more critical conversation with you.